YouTube. Okay, I know it's been a while since I've done a makeup video in general. So, here we are. We're back. Okay, so, I've already done foundation and contour and a little bit of highlight. So, let's just get right on in. And today, I'm going to do a slightly more neutrally toned eyeshadow look using, as usual, the e.l.f. palette I have. So, however, I am going to be using, where are the other two? New set of brushes that I got off the Wish website. Now, these are all really soft, so they'll be great. And they're just amazing for blending. Like, they're so soft and fluffy. Okay. So, to start off with, we're going to take a mixture of this shadow and this shadow, which are both two neutrally sh shimmery ones, and we're just going to put that all over the lid. Now we're going to be taking a little bit of a mixture of this kind of reddish brown one and this brown one and the pencil brush and we're going to put that up in the crease. Now I'm just going to take a clean brush and sort of blend it a little bit, but not too much. Now I'm going to take a little bit of an angled brush and a slightly darker brown and put that right on the outer corner. Just right in the outer corner of the crease. Then we're going to take the brush we blended with again and just blend that into the crease with window wiper motions. Okay, so now we have that. Then we're going to go and take a smaller brush and the darkest brown I have if you have a brown eyeliner, you can use that instead because this is going to be our eyeliner today. So just put that on the brush, tap off the extra, and line the eye. This will just make your lash line look a little bit thicker and be more natural looking with the whole look. Now I'm going to do just a little bit under the eye as well. And now I'm going to take a small little fluffyish brush and smudge the under eye out a little bit. Kind of blend it so it's not too dark. There we go. Now we have the eyes done. Almost. Just the eyeshadow. Almost forgot about mascara. Cause a little bit of a dance. <laughs> okay. Now. I have a torture device now. Also known to most folks. As an eyelash curler. So. For mascara, just put on a couple coats, do the lower lashes, 
as always, smudge a little bit onto your nose because I don't know why. That's just what always happens. Get that on there. If you don't have really nice lashes and you want to give it a little extra oom, you can go right down to the base and then wiggle the wand a little bit and that helps with looking them looking fuller and longer and all that jazz. I generally don't need to do that. I just need to add color. And then we take the torture device. Clamp those lashes up. And uh, there we go. Now, normally I would probably add a little bit of a white eyeshadow and white eyeliner to my waterline and then this area, but today we're not going to do that. Today is, I'm just doing very, very neutral look for me. And it's kind of weirding me out. For now. Okay, then take whichever lip product you want to use. Today I think I'll use this Jelly Flower Lipstick that I also got from Wish. It's Black Chrysanthemum brand, which the thing kind of wore off except for the flower. But it's pretty good. Not necessarily as good as the original big one that has the little gold flex, but I like it. Okay. Now, this also works really great as blush. So, I'm going to do that too. And... There we go. That's a simple neutrally part. Now for anyone who doesn't like the fun crazy stuff, you can leave. Now if you're here for the fun crazy stuff, which almost always happens in my videos, stay tuned. Okay, what do I have out? I have glitter. Hmm, I have all these brushes. How's about a fairy look? Yeah, I thought that. So. Okay, so with the things now, now I'm gonna add the white eyeliner. Just right in my waterline to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Now, so we've already done a nature-based one. We've already done a dark fairy. I think I'll do a water type style today. Now, I'm going to take this and sort of mark out a little bit of design work. Just faintly. Now, if you haven't noticed, I really like my swirls for fairy looks. However, I'm going to be making also little water drop points, too. Mar Just a little faint line. And then water drop. 
Now you can make as many designs in whatever shape you want. This is just how I want to do it. Now, we're going to take one of our finer brushes. Make sure it's nice and clean. And a uh, blue. Or probably a collection. I'm going to start off with this one, which has obviously been one of my favorites, considering how low I am on it. So I'm just going to follow the lines that I placed first. Just with this blue, which is going to probably be the lightest blue that I use. And for the teardrop, I'm all going to fill that part in completely with the blue. stepdad is watching uh, Star Trek out in the living room and he can hear it. I don't know if y'all can. I don't know how good this mic is, but yeah. Just random side note. I'm a big turkey. Which I should probably work on coming up with a makeup look for at some point. Because I do have a fandom series planned. But I have no idea what I'm going to do for that yet. So, it'll happen eventually. Now, I do these looks mostly for fun. You can do these for costumes or whatever, but I just do them for fun. And I don't usually wear them out. I don't usually wear any makeup out in public, to be honest with you. But that's because... I just don't feel like it most of the time get quite a lot of comments about my looks a lot and they really don't like it so I just don't okay now we have the first layer of blues done now I'm going to go and move on to this one right there and just do the kind of blend it in with the original blue from the inner parts to kind of make a little bit of an ombre effect but not completely. Now I'm also going to uh, do that with the water drops. Just kind of blend it from the top point down. Now, you 
You know how I mentioned that glitter before? This is where it's going to come into play. I'm going to be taking this brush and my glitter. And adding that glitter onto my raindrops. Now, I don't know how well the camera is picking up on the rainbow effect of the glitter, but yes, it's hollow glitter, which is the sole reason why we bought it. Me and my husband call it fairy crack. Because that's basically the closest thing we could think of. So, hollow glitter has been dubbed fairy crack. But I find it hilarious. Now, if you want to really amp up the water blues thing, you could also do a little bit of an ombre with your brows, which is kind of what I'm going to do. Just taking one of the darker blues I have on this part. Now, I just lightly go over my hairs. So you could completely white out your eyebrows and do it that way but I choose not to now I'm taking the lightest blue and putting that on the ends of my eyebrows and then going with the bright blue and putting that in the middle to really get that effect Now I'm just going to use the lighter blue and kind of just create a line right underneath the brow, like so, and then blend that out. Line right underneath the brow and then blend that out. Now. These lips seem a little boring for a water look. So, hmm. I'm going to use this trick that I learned a while ago. And I'm going to take a little bit of netting, stretch it out, hold it over my lips, like so. And I'm going to take this sponge with some blue. And that gives you a little bit of a scaly mermaid effect. Which is perfect for a mermaid look. And when you're done, it could look like this or however the heck you want it. As always, the look should be mo completely up to you how you do it. So, be unique, be yourself, and until next time, it has been awesome doing makeup with you. Bye!